Hello, hello, it is Jolene here from The Best Vinyl Cutters, and I wanted to share a very quick Cricut Design Space tip with you all. But before I do that, please hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever we share some more awesome tips with you guys. So today I want to talk to you about how to turn a one layer SVG cut file into multiple layers. So most of the time when you find SVG files, they are multi-layered SVG files, which means that if you go to the side here, you'll have different layers so that you can change the crown into a different color, the heart into a different color, the little swirls. But sometimes you find a cut file that hasn't been designed that well, that just comes as one solid color. Now, this one actually comes in multiple layers, but I welded it together so that I can show you guys how I would go about changing it if I bought or grabbed a free SVG file that only had one layer. So right now we've got this one single layer on the side but I really would love to cut the crown and the hearts and these little swirls out of a different color um, so that I can make this a much more interesting design. So the first thing that I would do is just to copy and paste this design or duplicate it. So you can either do that with this duplicate up here or I'm on a PC so I just press Control C and Control V and I've instantly got a duplicate. So now from here, we're going to go and use the contour, which lives down here on the bottom right. And in here, we can select which cut lines we would like to turn off or on. So I have my whole design here and I find that the easiest is to just click this hide all contours and then I can select which ones I would like to keep on. Now it's kept my princess on for some reason and I can't click on it to put it off unless I pick something else first. So let's say I want to make the crown a nice beautiful gold color and now I can click on the princess to turn it off. So see how it's like gray, like a light gray. It means it's off when it's darker. It means it's on. And I think I would like to make these swirls out of the gold as well. So I'm going to turn these two swirls on as well. So I've got my crown and my swirls. And now I can hit this cross and I'm going to have my design that's got these beautiful swirls in the crown and I'm going to have that as one single layer. See on the right hand side it's one layer and I can cut that out of gold vinyl. Now if for example you didn't want to cut it this way because obviously we're wasting a lot of vinyl be, um, with this middle bit, you can simply turn this into two different um, layers. So I can duplicate that, go into this one. Let me just turn this one off for a minute. So I can go into the one and I can turn the swirls off. And I can go into the other one and I can turn the crown off. So it's really, really easy. I like to have things of the same color on one design whenever I can even though that wastes vinyl, simply because it helps me to get my placement right. That way I know um, that all I need to do is to make sure that my words fit in the middle and it's just so much easier to align all of my bits and my pieces. So next up I would like to make these hearts maybe out of a pink. So I go and duplicate the original one again. Let me just turn these off for a minute so that there's not that many on my screen and now I'm just going to go in I'm going to hide all my contours and I am going to select my hearts this time and deselect the princess so you can either click on the side or you can actually click on the image as well to turn on certain bits so I would like to have those hearts and I'm going to make that pink and click on close you can go up here and you can change your colors to a different color so now I'm starting to get somewhere. I've got my hearts and I've got my crown layers. So now I still have the words and of course you could print them all or print, you could cut them all out of the same color, but I kind of think that maybe I would like to keep the princess, just make it stand out a bit more and have that in a separate color. So, I duplicate this again as always and I go and follow the exactly the same process. My princess is highlighted here, click closed. Whoops, it hasn't taken all of my bits and pieces out inside. Let me just go and do that. 
So get rid of these inside bits. And of course I want to add the circle for the, uh, the dot. There we go. And now I've got my princess. Okay. So now I just want to have one where I have chin up or the crown slips. So I duplicate this again and I turn everything off except for those bits. So let me find the words here. I'll go and fix them up in a minute. Take out those inside bits. I think those ones. Okay, I might switch to the image now. And you can zoom in here if you need to get up close. So I don't want that for the P. And I want the O. Oops, not the middle bit, not that, the E, not the middle bit. Okay, and you just go through the process. Oh, I think I'm turning them on now. Go through the process of picking all of your bits and your pieces. Click closed. Let's make sure, no, I did that one wrong. So I've got to go back and actually highlight those to cut out the middle bits. So click on all of the middle bits, not have them grayed out. Let's see. Awesome. So that's perfect. So now I have all of my different lip bits and layers. I might make this one red, make it stand out, uh, and my chin up. Now I like to leave my original one in place just so that I can see how I'm actually supposed to line these up. And if it's, this is a really complicated image, I often just go and actually add my layers on top of the other layers just so that I can get my placement in the right spots and make sure that I've actually got all of my elements. And then I can go and get rid of that original layer and I can delete it. And we have a multicolored SVG file. So just like that, I can now cut out, oops, I might change my words to black so that you guys can see what I would be doing. There we go. So maybe a dark gray would look better with this design or a silver. That's not bad. So now I've got one design that I've turned into one, two, three, four different layers instead of having to be stuck with the one single layer. So if you go to make it, you will now have all of your different bits and your pieces on your different mats so that you can cut them out of different vinyls. And that is how you go about creating a multi-layered SVG file from a one-layered SVG file. So I hope that was really interesting for you guys. As you can see, it's a pretty easy process. It does get more complicated if you have a really busy detailed design, but for the most part, it's a really easy way to very quickly personalize an SVG file and make it yours. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys again next Monday for your next little tutorial. Until then, bye for now.